Behind every prisoner of war is a family left waiting and wondering as to the fate of their loved one. When the Japanese captured the Philippines in the spring of 1942, Roland Harrell's family was shocked to receive a telegram from the War Department reporting that he was missing in action. His wife, Bama, spent the next year not knowing if her husband was alive, wounded, or captured. She moved in with family in Florida to help ease the burden of raising their children. One night, she and her sister decided to go to the movies. Before the feature started, the theater played a newsreel of captured Japanese footage that showed American prisoners on the Bataan Death March. Suddenly, in the darkened theater, Miss Harrell recognized her husband in the footage. In a burst of joy, she got the theater manager to play the clip again and give her a photo made from the film reel. The burden of not knowing was lifted. She said, This takes a big load off my mind, just knowing that he is all right and well. She even received postcards from him in prison. However, the joy of knowledge was soon replaced with the sad realities of captivity. That grainy footage in a Sarasota movie theater was the last time that Bama Harrell saw her husband. Roland Harrell died in a Japanese prisoner of war camp on August 6, 1944. In 1948, his remains were recovered and brought home where he was laid to rest at Andersonville National Cemetery.